husband, master, and trade slugs of party, big or small. And at the Baron's beer bash, he drank lots of alcohol. When it came time for bed, he staggered homeward to our tent, attempting to doff off his clothes as off to sleep we went. I thought that he would pop the buttons on his coat hardy. I said, why, honey, please don't rip your 14th century. <laughs> but he heaved a sigh and said in reply, you'd better help me, please, because I can't get out of these. All these stringy bits are tough for an inebriated guy. His hose and burn fashion blue and tied up to his braids, and his brace and many lacing points are tied up to his weight, and his cock teeth, rather manly, was all tangled up in his cuffs. Oh, his coat hard he was boring, but his underwear is in knots. <laughs> I have a friend in Sacred Stone, a Scottish lad named Dougal, who, like all Scotsmen far and wide, is really rather frugal. But nonetheless, when needed, he can put on quite a show with the latest Highland fashion in a manner apropos. I think that Scotsmen look so fine when dressed up to the hilt. I said, why, Dougal, you look grand in your new Stuart kilt. But he heaved a sigh and said in reply, it takes a lot of money for a lad to look this bonny, but where it does the show, show, I did not have to buy. His linen shirt of saffron was a most becoming shade, and his tartan was a spartan, but a pleated woolen play, and his rabbit fur black spore and twirled his tassels quite a lot. Oh, his kilt was rather boring, but his underwear was not. <laughs> I have a friend in Windmasters. Her name is Kat Romanish. She has eccentric taste in garb. And, um, and, 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 and dresses quite outlandish. Was I surprised to see her at a Twelfth Night Revelry? Clad all in silk and velvet, most Elizabethan lady. I thought that chocolate brown matched up with, I thought that pale blue matched with chocolate brown, they'd rather suit her. I said, why can't you look so elegant in your new tutor? But she heaved a sigh and said in reply, it takes the lady I portray underneath I love risque. And she lifted up her skirt so I could spy, thigh, high. Her pink and fuzzy slippers didn't match her argyle socks, and her bright red satin bloomers with the pirate's heads did rock, and her farthing girl was covered in big purple polka dots. Oh, her dress was rather boring, but her underwear was da 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 da. <laughs>